Hi everyone, Articulated JP here, back with another figure review and unboxing. And for today, I have here for you a very special one for me. Um, I've been waiting for a long time to open this one ever since I got it. Um, it's the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade version of themselves. Uh, it's from the company NECA and it's only a San Diego Comic Con exclusive for 2016 as you can see right there um, I know a lot of people weren't able to get this piece um, and I'm sorry guys um, it was only available for people who attended Comic Con um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you and have you guys check it out um, actually this is front of the box here and it has a velcro and it opens up just like so and as you can see here here are the four turtles arcade version of themselves you can see the different type of accessories they come with um, the background there artwork is fantastic just like from the arcades you see April there um, and then at the bottom here is the classic arcade stick and buttons. All right, um, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, guys. So here are the turtles out of the box. Um, as you can see, they have a lot of different accessories here, and. Um, I'm sorry about the background noise, by the way. I'm just right next to the street down here, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, um, and let's look at the accessories. Um, the first accessory is a pizza in the pizza box. Um, so far, from what I could tell, it's just stuck on there. It's glued on there. I haven't really tried to like force it out, and I, frankly, I don't want to. Um, but the pizza itself is nicely detailed. Let me see if I can get the lights here. As you can see there um, also let me turn the pizza box here you got that retro pizza box and the classic arcade game and it gives you uh, life points back all right so let's put that aside um, Leo sword painted um, I would say white or light gray and then the handles are dark gray as you can see um, and Leo comes with pointing hands, a pair of them. Um, and here is Leonardo. Um, the classic arcade paint job is pretty darn awesome. Uh, you can see the belt here is like rubbery plastic and the chest piece as well. Um, plastic shell. And just like the SH figure arts, the, the sheath for the sword is down here. It's below right here. So when you let's try to sheet the sword, shall we? Um let's see there. And it's kind of stiff, but there you go. That's how low it is. Or that's how high it could get. And for the hand changing, let me see if I could take this out so it's a peg right there. And here, so this piece right here, it's not a separate piece, not just like the S Figure Arts one. So it doesn't come off, so which is which is good. Because when you take off the hand, sometimes it falls off and maybe you lose it, you know? So there you go. Leonardo and his pointy hands. Let's set them aside. Let's look at Mikey's accessories. Let's put Mikey here. Um, for Mikey's accessories, he this one, it's one of part of his nunchuck. So let me see if I can take it out. So it just it's a peg as well. So you kind of just put it right there. It's just one of them. These, they don't open up just like the other one. It's just molded, so it's just one piece right there. Take it out, put it right there, 
and it looks like he's just twirling his nunchucks and spinning them. Excuse me. Um, and he comes with a pair of thumbs up hands. All right, let's set a set aside accessories and look at Mikey very quickly. Comes with orange color, beautiful arcade paint job of the classic arcade game. Very nostalgic. Um, unlike Leo, that comes with a sheath on the back. Mikey does not. So it's just a belt around it. Maybe you could just put the nunchucks there. I haven't tried that. Right there on that side. Um, and Donnie, let's look at Donnie's accessory. Um, in a minute here, I'm gonna compare the SH Figure Arts and these guys. And what I like about the NECA ones with these guys, um, Donnie's bow staff, it's painted right there in the middle, the handle. And for the SH Figure Arts one, it's unfortunately not painted. And it's like, that figure is like 60 bucks, I think, for the price. And these guys are $100 for the whole set. Um, so it would have been nice to have that one uh, painted, but it's supposed to have painted. And it does come off. I'll show you later why. Like this. Just peg it right back again. It's a lot of pegs. Um, excuse me. And he comes with an open palm hand. Um, Alright, let's him aside. Let's look at Donnie here for a little while. Again, with the paint job, very cool, very nice. And just like Leonardo, he comes with a sheath for his bow staff right down there below. Um, so what I wanted to talk about the bow staff is that this comes off just because so that it's easier for you to put it in his hand, just like that. And then this one could just it both of them goes through and. It's made out of like rubbery plastic, so you could, it's very bendable. And you could just put it together just like that, and there you go. It makes it easier for you to put the bow staff in his hand. <clears throat> Excuse me about my voice. Like I said, I still have a cold, so... Thanks for understanding that, guys. Um, And let's look at Raph. Comes with a pair of sides, just like Leo's colorway of his sword. Very light gray or white and dark gray on the handles. And he comes with an open hand. And here comes Raph. And he does not have the sheath on his back, just like for Donnie and Leo. Um and these guys are like basic articulation, pretty articulated. Um, the pivot and the swivel for feet, arms, legs. Um, the only thing is that the head cannot go up or look up. He can, they cannot look up that high, but they could look pretty low, as low as that, because of the shell here. And there you go. The eyes are cool. Um, you notice their faces, their mouth are open differently. His is on the right side. Um, Leo here, both mouth. So they are different in that way. Mikey here is on the left. And Donnie is just, just closed. Um, okay, so for comparison, um, here is the SH Figure Arts um, Leonardo compared to the arcade game Leonardo by NECA and this is by SH Figure Arts and this is the classic Ninja Turtle. You can see there, I would say this is a little bit taller or maybe about the same height if I don't pose the figure because and these guys are die cast. These are just rubbery plastic. 
<clears throat> excuse me, so that's Leo for SH and NECA and I have here just adjusting them a little bit the the ones that we have today which is the Nick Turtles Leonardo so there's the three of them he's a smaller smaller figure than those two um, set that aside set this guy aside I wanted to show you Rocksteady right next to Leo here if he's gonna stand up correctly and not fall on me and also I have here Bebop as well and these guys are playmates the company that made these two and I don't think they'll be making Shredder anymore but um here's a comparison there you go they look pretty good in scale I wish we would have gotten um, arcade style bebop and rock setting and slash and all those bosses that would have been cool too um, set this aside for now here's Donnie arcade Donnie and this is a classic Donnie once again as each figure arts Donnie and I have here if you could stand up correctly for me the uh, Rebel Tech Rebel Tech Donnie, which is the current show in Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. Oops. So, there's the three right there. Um, I think so far the thing that just came out for Esther Figure Arts is Donnie and Leo. I got them both at San Diego Comic Con. So, there you go. And these guys, the Rebel Tech guys. They are taking pre-orders because they're going to re-release re them soon. So that's kind of good news too, but they're, they're a little bit pricey, I know, but they're a fantastic figure as well. Probably the best one you'll ever find for the Nick Turtles. Um, what else? Oh, um, <clears throat> I know these are exclusive, I mean, and you could only get them at San Diego Comic Con. NECA already confirmed it on their Twitter that they cannot sell these turtle outside of the convention because of licensing issues so you could only get them this year at San Diego Comic Con um, that's very unfortunate for a lot of people who cannot attend and um, I'm sorry guys I'm sorry about that but if you really love the figure and you're willing to pay you know outside retail they retail for about a hundred dollars a set um, for these guys, for these four turtles, which is not bad, because you're getting, I mean, you're getting cool accessories, you're getting cool paint apps, um, a really nice box, also four turtles, okay, the SH Figure Arts is like $60-ish, and you only get one turtle. Revel Tech is, I was, I'm gonna say, about the same, so, you know, um, you guys decide, for me, this is a special place in my heart because I've played nothing but like Ninja Turtle Arcade back in the days. Um, it's pretty awesome that they came out with this set. So it's up to you if you if you want to pay, you know, outside or you have, excuse me, that you have to pay outside um, retail price. Um, kind of like no, is it you know your pride? What what? up to what or how much are you willing to pay for them, you know? But like what I said, NECA already confirmed that they're not re releasing this out in the masses and it's it only be for San Diego Comic Con. So um, good luck guys and if you really love the set, I mean, I recommend them. They're pretty cool. So um, once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and taking the time to look at my videos and liking them and subscribing. Um, I'm, I'll be taking a picture of these guys on my Instagram account, which is ArticulateJP. Um, thanks again, guys. Um, have a great day. And I'm out. Alright, see ya.